Enrolling in the gym will not make you a champion. Let me repeat that once again. Enrolling in the gym will not make you a champion and collecting books will not make you a scholar. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, we are here for Ignition. Now, we all buy books, but the question is, how many of you complete the book from cover to cover? Today, we've got a young champion who reads book from cover to cover. We're not talking about one book, two book, three book, or 10 books, or 100 books, or 500 books, or 750 books. We are going to talk about someone who has read more than 1,000 books. And this is at the end age. She is just a fourth grader. She is a champion. She loves reading. She loves writing. She loves singing. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together to welcome Lakshmi. Hi, Lakshmi. Hi, Shanshi. How are you doing? I'm doing absolutely great. And what about you? I am rocking because I'm so thrilled to see young champions like you coming and performing here. Let's start with a shock. Go ahead with the longest word. Stop. Okay, thank you. La pea tomato salam bigara cream needed some happy tomato salam bigara on the chicken. Chime and every slip because of the pea stick. And I take five big liberal legacy story about digging up children. I didn't understand even a single word out of it. Is that got some meaning? Yes, and see, it is a fictional dish that contains 16 ingredients that are sour and sweet. And this word consists of 183 letters. Wow, could you just pronounce that once again? A bit slower. Do you understand? This is English. Am I right? This is English. And tell me, how did you get inspired with this? Um, when I read the book of Geronimo Stilson, and it's, it's one of my favorite characters, in cartoons, while I watch cartoons, mm -hmm. and in it, it, and it, in it, it talks about volcano eruption, and so I studied a disease called pneumonal ultra microscopic silica volcano kinesis. Mm -hmm. When we and it and this disease will happen to us when we just breathe the smoke emitted mm -hmm. by a volcano. Mm -hmm. And so I just thought if there was any word that is longer than this word. Mm -hmm. And so I got this word, so I just learned it. Wow, wow. So who are the people who appreciated you? I know there is a gentleman who really appreciated you and he came on a TV channel to appreciate you. Would you like to talk about that? Yes, Sensi, and it's uh, Dr. Shishi Daru, sir, and and I love him because he's a bibliophile. Wow, wow, that's a great honor. Like people, leaders like Dr. Sashi Theroux coming and speaking to you live on, uh, on Asianet. If I'm right, that was Asianet, am I right? Yes, Sensi. Okay, now you are just a fourth grader. Tell me what are the things that you do in the school and how do you motivate, empower, encourage, and lead the others in your school? And, um... I love reading books and I read books every day and the book I'm currently reading is Kafka on the Shore by Haruki Murakami and in my school too everyone is reading books. Wow, is that a habit or a culture which has been developed in your school that everyone should read a particular book? No Sensi, about in the last year when when this pandemic began, mm -hmm. our former principal asked us to just read about 30 books mm -hmm. and he also announced that there would be a price for it mm -hmm. and so when I in the I wrote as for the proof I just wrote down the first 200 books mm -hmm. for the proof and but after then I just I, I was just immersed in reading and so I just continued reading right now and now too I'm reading wow that's great so this is that's a great lesson to learn from Lakshmi the great leader what can you learn? That's a habit. The, the, her uh, former principal built in a habit in Kate saying that read books, go for 100 books, 200 books. And that is a habit and a culture that you can develop in yourself and you can develop in your kids as well. If you keep on reading, if you want to do something on a, and if you keep on doing it on a regular basis, that's going to become a habit that can change you completely. And that's exactly what happened with Lakshmi. Lakshmi, tell me, tell me as a leader, 
you have a big dream. I know that. Tell me what's your dream. Yes, Sensi, I want to become an Air Force officer and then I want to become the Prime Minister of India. Wow. Now, now this is something I learned. That is when you dream, dream big. Don't dream small because anyway you're dreaming, so dream big. This is a lesson that I learned from one of the leaders. That's exactly what I'm facing right now. That's exactly you are watching right now. Just a fourth grader, she has got a dream. She has got a dream to become the Prime Minister of India. The question and the challenge that you need to challenge yourself, the question that you need to ask yourself is, what is your dream? Do you have a dream? Only if you have a dream, then you can convert the dream into actionable goals. And only then you have to take action. Once you take action, then definitely the goal starts reaching you. It starts approaching and you'll be able to achieve your goals. Now here, a young champion, a young leader, she has got a dream. She's converting that into goals and she is doing her best for, to become the Prime Minister of India. Starting now itself. Tell me what are the steps you have taken to become the Prime Minister of India? Yes, Sensi, um, the one who inspired to become who inspired me to become the Prime Minister of India is our present PM, Narendra Modi, because his determination is so inspiring because he was just a simple boy like everyone. Mm -hmm. And he was a normal boy selling tea. Yeah. But because of his zero to hero life, he and also because of his mindset, he became the Prime Minister of India. And that's really inspiring. And, and also, I just love to help. And also, I would love and I would just help all the Indians who are just going abroad for their family in India. And, and, and I'm so sad because, um, because they're not having a happy life to live, but books can make them happy. And also, so I need to help them. Wow. And that's the reason why you're looking to become an IFS officer, am I right? Yes, MC. That's great. Now, beside Mr. Narendra Modi, there's also one female prime minister in your list. Tell me, who is that? Yes, Sensi, it's Jacinda Ardern, the prime minister of New Zealand. Wow, what, so, what, what inspires you? Yes, Sensi, because um, she's a woman and many think that women can't do anything, but mm -hmm. really they also have the potential to be like men and also there's a man line inside them. Wow, wow, that's so powerful. That's so powerful. There's a man within a woman because there is a potential in everybody. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what's your gender. It doesn't matter what's your age. There is a leader within each and every one of us. There is a giant sleeping within you and I. We have to awaken the giant. And that's exactly what Lakshmi is talking right now. Just take through us. Go, go take us through that, please. Go ahead. Yes, Sensi, and also I love Malala Yousafzai because he fight it for girls and also in Pakistan and many other countries, we can't just get proper education, but that's not fair because um, just like men, we women too need education because like you said, there is a great leader like in everyone and we just need to awaken it and it will just pop out from us and it will just reach the whole world and they will support us there are people who can support it absolutely absolutely now i know that you're reading a book which is written by an afghani author an english afghani author what is the name of the book and what are the three points that you learned from that particular book yes it's and the mountains echoed by the late Hassini, and it talks about and the and the heart of the book is a separation between these two siblings mm -hmm. Abdullah and Parry, Abdullah is 10 and Parry is 3. And anyway, um, I learned that we can't just see love. Mm. We, can't just, we can't only feel it at the last of our life. Yeah. But we should always feel that someone is there loving us, waiting for us somewhere in this world. Yeah. And and just, but Parry couldn't, Parry and Abdullah couldn't understand each other. Mm -hmm. But uh, as usual, as when every, when a person gets, 
I mean, when I get, person gets separated from another person, mm -hmm. they just forget them. But yeah. for the first few weeks, they would remember, but they would just forget. But when, but Perry just gave, a, I mean, Abdullah's daughter, Perry, gave a package to mm -hmm. Abdullah's sister, Perry. Okay. And inside it, she saw a box, but she couldn't understand that. She couldn't remember that. This was her box. And also, and this was the box that, but she couldn't understand that this was a box given by her own brother. Mm. But we can also understand that how much, we can also understand how much Abdullah loved Pauli because he named his own daughter Pauli and so it's just a mind-blowing book and it can also make us cry. Wow, wow, that's great. Lakshmi, you are also a YouTuber. You come up with videos, you go for book reviews and so forth. Who does the camera? Who does the editing? Who does the content for you? Um, I just do everything in my videos and I just love doing that. And it's one of my hobbies and that's why I just love to do videos and many other things. Wow. And what, what is the response that you get from your friends, from your teachers, from your principal authorities, from your parents, and maybe your families uh, about the video that you release on a regular basis? Yes, and see, everyone supports me so much and I'm so happy for them. Mm -hmm. And also, I would just love to make more and more videos and I want to support everyone else too. Wow, that's absolutely fantastic. What are the three recommendations that you would like to give to those who are maybe of your age and maybe of my age? I'm talking about 50 plus. What is the three recommendations from your side as a young champion? Yes, MC, but the truth is that I have four recommendations. Wow, that's a good one. Go ahead. Yes, MC, the first book is My Journey by APJ Abdul Kalam. It talks about his life okay. and it's so inspiring. Mm -hmm. And um, from a little boy, a normal boy, to the 11th president of India. And that's so inspiring. Mm -hmm. And I think that everybody needs to read this book. Okay. And the next book is Sudam Murthy's Half I Tell My Grandmother to Read and Other Stories. Mm -hmm. This book too, in this book too, it talks about her life. And my favorite chapter is Books for At Least One Library. Mm -hmm. And um, Sudamurthy's grandfather asked, asked Sudamurthy to make a promise mm -hmm. that when she grows up, if she has more money than she needs, mm -hmm. she will give books for at least one library. Right. But she also tells that she became a well off person and she has given books to 10,000 such libraries, and that's so right. inspiring too. Wow. And in spite from that, I also started giving books, and there's a small library. In my house, in my wow. home. Great. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, what's the third one? And the third book is Victoria Frankl's Man Search for Me. And most of all, it talks about hope. And hope is one of the main ingredients yeah. that we can, we want to add to our life. Yeah. And that too is inspired. Wow. And the fourth one? And the fourth one is Lem Less Miserables by Victor E. Frankl. And I love this book. And I thought that if there were people like the bishop in this book, mm -hmm. the world would be much, much better than we think. Wow. So we are going to give the link of these four books in the, in the description. If you're watching this on, in, on YouTube, then definitely you'll find the link to all these four books in the description. Now, going back to Lakshmi, that was great recommendation. I got lots and lots of books here in my library on the right side of my, myself. But the fact is that I don't read from cover to cover. I'm a lazy guy. I love to read summaries. Do you read summary of books? Yes, and see, sometimes you, we won't be able to get a full book. Yes. So, like in Kindle and Playbooks and many other books, we may get the summary of these books. Yes. And also we would get to read the first few pages. And sure. I just read them. And also I just love hearing audiobooks. And sometimes I would just read um, about one, two, four or nine books each day. And I, if I'm just... Immersed in that book, I would just read that book full in one day. 
Wow. And do you lock yourself in a room so that nobody disturbs you? How do you focus? We're talking about focus because a lot, a lot of people, Lakshmi, that they don't have focus. They talk about time management. Now, I don't, I don't agree to the word time management because you can't manage time. You have to manage your activities. Now, if you take example right now, Lakshmi said that she reads sometimes nine books and so forth. It's not managing time. It's managing the, the, the priority. What is important for you, for her reading the book? Completing nine books, completing one book, that's a priority and she acts upon that. Tell, take us through, how do you do that? That is, how do you manage yourself to get with your target or with your goals and objectives on a daily basis? Yes, and see, if we are inspired to read books, there's nothing we can get more than that. Mm -hmm. and if you love, and no one should, and one of the main thing you should know about is that no one should just insist you to read that book because if you love children's books then read that mm. and if you like grown-up books uh books that grown-ups read just read that because reading is a thing that we that we can read we, we can read books but when we love not when we don't love because sometimes you won't even get the thing that's said in the book into our mind and that's so bad so we should just read whenever we get time, whenever we love, and no one should insist us. And that's the main thing we should just understand. Absolutely. So absolutely. I 100% agree to you. Whenever I'm traveling, I'm a frequent traveler. Whenever I'm, I'm there at the airport, there's only one shop that I hit, and that is the bookstall. And if you go to the bookstore, you'll find different shelves. I hit straight away, I go to somewhere where they talk about leadership and where they talk about management. Those are the books that, that those are the areas that I hit because that's my passion. I'm not passionate about other magazines and so forth. So do understand what we learned from Lakshmi right now is that do understand what's your, uh, your passion. Do understand your passion and make sure that you get connected with those books and literatures that is connecting you with your passion and that will change your life. Lakshmi, you are right now attending a program which is called the PSPM with our family, the Ledge International. And PSPM stands for Professional Speaking and Presentation Mastery. What are your challenges? Yes, Cincy, um, there are 23 challenges and I'm currently doing the first challenge and that is storytelling. Um, and also, I love storytelling, and most probably, most probably from our life, like A. P. J. Abdulkalam and many others, and it can also inspire many, many, many people. Absolutely, because storytelling is a tool, it's a technique that you can use in your presentation. If you're a leader, you can use storytelling. If you are a speaker, you can use storytelling. If you are at the head of a family, you can use storytelling because people love story. It doesn't matter how young you are, how old you are, how educated you are. It doesn't matter. Everybody loves stories. Is that right? Now, what is your favorite story? What is your favorite story? And um, the books, as I told you, the books I love are just novels or books like that. But my favorite story is Alice in Wonderland because oh. I think that if Lewis Carroll didn't write this book, I think most of these fantastic, fantastic books wouldn't have been written because Alice in Wonderland can take us to another world. And I think that... Alice in Wonderland is just like many other books, um, cause in many other books too, there are many, many adventures. And one of the main thing we can love, and one of the main thing we can just spot in reading is that we can just travel anywhere in in this world, not in this world, but in many other worlds too, without moving even our fingers and that's so interesting absolutely absolutely so ladies and gentlemen there's a lot to us to learn from the young leaders there's something that i believe in it's called continuous learning now to learn forward to learn something we also have to remember that we have to go for reverse learning if you are a leader if you're a champion if you're the head of an organization Please be ready for reverse learning. Now, what do you mean by reverse learning? Reverse learning is to learn from youngsters, learning from the young generation. 
get away from your ego and be ready to learn from your juniors, from the youngsters like Leda Lakshmi. There's a lot to learn from her. So ladies and gentlemen, before we wind up, Lakshmi, end up with the same long word once again. And we're going to put that word in the description. If you're watching this on YouTube, you'll definitely find that word. How many letters are there? There are 183 letters in it. There you go. That's pretty long. Okay, go ahead. Your time starts now. Wow. Now you are going to take this into the world record book. Am I right? Tell me what is the challenge. And you're very good at cubic as well. So what, are you, what is the connection between these long words and cubic and the world record? Um, cause sometimes when we learn, when we just learn swooping the cube, it would be hard for us at the first time. But when we just get practice to that, it's so, so easy. And, and the next thing we should do is uh, learn the longest words. Mm -hmm. And so if we are practicing that too, there's nothing to worry about. Just go ahead. Yeah. Wow. That's a great lesson. So ladies and gentlemen, leader Lakshmi.